Susan. I'm Tyler D'Souza. And I'm Mallory Thompson. Tyler, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm alright. Did you, did you sleep last night? Uh, no, no I didn't. Why, why didn't you sleep, Tyler? Exams are in a week. I can't afford to sleep. I have to study. Well, Tyler, I know there's a lot of healthier ways to study than staying up all night. There are. Yeah, and I think that some students here at Benny's are going to talk about it in our first video. Let's go check it out, guys. Hi, Saints. I'm Rachel Kaspersik, and today we're here to talk about your exams. So, exams. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing during exams? I uh, will be going to Cuba. Are you ready for exams? Yeah, I'm be I've been studying and everything, so I'm good. How excited are you for exams? It's, pr it's pretty exciting, but at the same time, I'm feeling a bit nervous. What are you doing the week of the exam? I am doing crisis control. So for all those students who need help and extra help and haven't studied or didn't read the book, and that's what I'm going to be doing. What class are you least excited to leave? Uh, gym class. I like it a lot. What are you looking forward to on your exams? Hopefully multiple choice questions. Are you excited for cookies and cram? Yeah, I am so excited to help all the grade nines out with the, all their schoolwork and all the things that they are having trouble in class with. What are you doing after exams? Uh, looking at Can't We Buff. What do you plan on doing after exams are over? I'm going to cry my stress away. Wishing everyone good luck on their exam, and I can't wait to see you next semester. Uh, I guess there are some better ways to handle exam stress, huh? I think that there are a few classes that I'm going to miss. How about you? Uh, no, no. You're not going to miss any of your classes this semester? Well, let's throw it back over to our arts and sports host to see the arts and sports news for this week. Hey Hello. Saints, I'm Zach Rarell. And I'm Habiba Etesham. So in arts news, unfortunately, our video couldn't air because of technical difficulties, but it will be on our YouTube channel, so check that out. So basically, our drama classes and some SBTV members attended a performance and a workshop at Second City Theatre in Toronto. And I believe you were there, right, Zach? Indeed I was, Abi, but weren't you there too? I was, Zach. And speaking of Zach, I believe he has some sports news for us. Indeed I do. So, regarding sports, the junior girls volleyball team won against St. David's 3-0, and the senior girls unfortunately lost against Woodland 0 matches to 3. And now regarding the Saints Invitational Basketball Tournament, it was extremely well about a week ago. The juniors boys went all the way to the finals, losing against Notre Dame. And then the senior boys making it all the way to the quarterfinals, losing against WCI. Now we have a video recapping the seniors' first game, so let's go check it out, guys. Hey Saints, it's me, Josh. And it's me, Megan, and we're here at the Saints Invitational Basketball Tournament. Against Huron Heights from Kitchener. Let's go see how the game goes. Alright fans, it's time for your St. Benedict Saints starting lineup. At card number 10, Lucas Cardoso! At small forward number 23, Justin Mallory! So as a player, how do you think the game went? I think we did really well. We left it all out there and we're just getting ready for the other games in the tournament. Played really hard. Um, I think we played pretty good offense, but uh, we played really bad defense and we had trouble boxing out. So next game we're going to try to box out more and hold the team to at least uh, like 40 points. 
congratulations to the senior boys basketball team. Good job on your first win at the tournament with a score of 67 to 53. You guys showed huge amounts of teamwork and enthusiasm. This is Jacques and Senna. And this is Megan Friedrich. Back, Back to, to the, the desk. desk.